Is that all that's got? <laughs> Draw your knees into your chest and begin to circle your knees apart and together. Whatever you need to do to go into yourself. So whether that's closing the eyes or opening them. To drop your awareness into your physical body. Switch directions, taking the knees. If you were drawing them toward you first, press them away from you. And then draw both knees in. It's nice to interlace your fingers in front of the shins if that's possible. And find a steady, even rocking over the side, rocking from side to side. As the, yeah, just allow this to be very natural. Soothing the nervous system. And then holding on to the front of the shins, slipping your hands forward, press the shins into the hands. And the hands resist, draw the shoulders down away from the ears and find that traction for the spine. Drawing the belly down toward the floor. And really simply press the shins into the hands and the hands resist. And then begin to let the hands win, drawing the knees in close to the chest. And then starting about at that halfway point, press the knees forward into the hands. And then let the hands win and draw the knees in closer. And then split that again and press the shins forward into the hands. And then draw the knees closer. Oops. I thought I muted everybody. Here we go. Everyone can hear okay? Thumbs up if you can hear. Okay, cool. And then let go of the left foot and reach up for the right foot. Hold the sole of the right foot in your right hand and bend the knee, coming into an easy, happy, ba half happy baby. And move the leg to the side and press the knee down to the floor. And then through pressure of the foot into the hand, come back to the balance of the sacrum, recenter. And do this a few times, pull down, bringing the top of the thigh to the ground and return to center, push the foot into the hand. And one more time, push the hand down into the foot and the top of the right thigh goes to the ground. And then through pressure, Push yourself back up to the center. Cross the right ankle over the front of the left thigh, figure four. With your right arm, encourage that right leg away from you, that right knee. Clasping behind the left leg, gently rock side to side. That right leg in external rotation. The hands clasp behind the left leg, draw it toward you. And then center as you press the left thigh into the hands, draw the shoulders down once again. Draw the navel to, toward the spine and keep encouraging with that right elbow, the right inner thigh open. Unclasp your hands and let, leave the legs in the same shape, but drop them over to the left side. Hold on to the front of the right ankle and draw that right ankle a little bit closer to your body. So hold on to it with your left hand, draw it in. The left thigh rests totally on the floor and then press the right knee away from you. Finding that balance as you pull that right ankle toward you and right knee going away from you, sensation increases. Keep that right foot on the ground, but it can come to its outer edge. 
and then send the right inner thigh toward the right knee. So it's almost mm -hmm. as though you're extending the leg out of the body somewhat. Mm -hmm. Turn the head to the right. Breathe across your chest. Mm -hmm. Release your grip, relax your grip on that ankle. Roll back to the center. Uncross your legs and draw them back into your chest, hug the knees. And moving as if you were watery, take the knees apart and together. Finding those circles, lubricating the hip socket. And then hold on to the front of your left shin, extend it through your right leg and flex and point the foot. And then switch. And do this slowly so that you're really starting to move the toe joints. Flexing them toward you and extending all the way through them as you point. Lower the right leg down to the floor, right foot to the floor. Reach up to the top of the left foot, bend the knee, elbow to the inside of the knee, taking half happy baby here. Move around a little bit side to side. And push the foot into the hand and pull the hand into the foot, finding that pressure. And then begin to let the hand win the top of the left thigh goes down to the floor. And then let the foot win, and that brings you back into balance on your sacrum. And a few times working that way, pulling the leg down with the hand, top of thigh to ground, and then pressing the foot into the hand, restoring you to balance. One more time, pull it all the way down, Press the right foot into the floor as a counterbalance. And then press the foot into the hand, centering onto the spine. Cross that left ankle over the right thigh. Interlace your hands, opposite clasp, reaching behind that right thigh. And rock here side to side, coaxing your left thigh away from you with the elbow. Check that the neck has a nice curve in it, the spine, cervical spine. And then centering, pull that right thigh toward you, getting a deeper stretch in that left piriformis. Using that left elbow to externally rotate that left thigh and using the thigh itself to do this. Releasing the clasp with the hands, you're going to let the legs fall over to the right side of you. Hold on to your left ankle with your right hand, open your left shoulder, and start to press your left thigh away from you toward the front of the mat, top of the mat. And a little bit of ejecting the leg, extending that inner left thigh toward the knee. And those are, you can feel different tendons that way. So as the knee presses away from you, it's more, it's higher in that hip flexor. And as you extend, it gets a different one. As you pull with the right hand, it has a different sensation. Perhaps turn the head to the left. And then relaxing the grip on the ankle, roll back to that figure four on your back body. Uncla uncross your legs, drop both knees in. A little bit of rocking here. 
and then lift both feet toward the ceiling. Wrapping your forearms behind the thighs, taking a very relaxed, happy baby, press the thighs into the forearms. Or if it's not tricky for your body, reach up and hold the feet. Press the feet into the hands and the hands into the feet. Finding that isometric pressure, drawing belly to the spine, rocking here. And then bring the soles of the feet to touch, butterflying the legs open here, knees press away from you, and feet start to draw toward the chest. So the feet come up a little bit higher over the chest bone, over the sternum, knees press toward the front of the room, and you pull your feet toward you. And then loosen that grip, press them away, and again, pull them toward. Press them away, active, and then pull them toward you, opening into a deeper stretch, press the knees away. Release this clasp with the feet, relax the hands, cross left ankle over right, and shoot the legs out in front of you, interlace the hands behind the back. Squeeze inner ankle toward outer ankle, right ankle into left ankle. Open the legs apart and cross other way. Squeeze outer ankles. Draw belly toward the floor. And switch. And switch. And switch. Lift the head a little higher. Draw the belly down a little bit further. Hold the shape. Bend the knees in toward you. Press the legs out. Bend the knees in toward you. Leave the legs bent, reach the arms forward. Little pulses with the shoulders, lifting off the floor, shoulder blades coming up for five. Or continue holding the head, four. And three, pull your ankles apart. And two, elbows go a little bit wider. And one, take your left elbow to your right knee, twist. Reach your left arm past the legs. Draw the knees in a little closer, twist more to the right. Open both arms up. Inhale, come to the center, hold your head. Exhale, twist, right elbow to the left knee. A little bit farther, open the arms into a T. Come back to the center, five, five pulses. Four, work the outer ankles, three, and two, and one. Uncross, recross, pulse five, four, Three, two, twist right elbow toward left knee. Open the arms. Come back to center, left elbow toward right knee. Open the arms. Come back to the center, pulse five. Arms can be four, four, three, two, and one. Unwrap it, hug yourself. Yay, then rock up to a seated position. Find a seat that you can sit in for a moment or two, or three or four. We're gonna take some breaths. I'm coming in closer so I can see you. So I just wanna talk about this breath for a second. We're going to breathe in, and then breathe out. When we breathe out, I want you to spend a few extra moments pressing the air all the way out. So that we, we they just, it's described in yoga texts as releasing all the rubbish. And that a true inhale can't happen until all the rubbish has left. So we inhale, filling the container, and exhale. And we tend to short shrift this. So get all the way to the bottom, and then press a little more air out, pause. Then inhale. And imagine a glass filling all the way up to the top. Pause. And exhale. Good. Now, switch the cross of your legs. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add a little tone. 
Good. So flex your feet. Draw your sits bones toward each other. Draw the tailbone forward slightly and the pubic bone as though you could draw it back slightly, feeling that activation of the pelvic floor. Then as you breathe in, feel that center going all the way up through the crown of the head, from the pelvic floor through the head. Exhale. Keep that tone and breathe all the way up. Keep going past where you think you're done. Pause. Inhale. Breathe as though you were a cylinder. Breathe a little more. Hold. Tone the pelvic floor. Exhale. Slightly contracting the throat. Go beyond, empty all the rubbish. And a more authentic inhale naturally arises, inhale. And you can take your hands to your sat, to your belly and start to comb the skin in toward the center. So starting on the outside, start to comb in, activating these deeper transverse abdominals. Drop the shoulders, keep the hands there, inhale. Toning pelvic floor. Feeling the waist naturally draw in. And exhale. Keep pushing the air up. Keep toning. And relax for a moment, shake it loose. And then Watch out for the people around you, but take a little cough <coughs> and just feel those deeper abdominals turn on. <coughs> really feeling that. Yeah, tone the pelvic floor again. So sits bones draw together just to, re re to refresh it. Tailbone forward, pubic bone back. Feet are active, they're helpful. And then a little cough. <coughs> now inhale. You may notice the tongue lifting to the roof of the mouth. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Awesome, and let's try to keep this breath going throughout the practice. Coming forward onto your hands and knees. Knees under the hips and hands under the shoulders. And start to cat cow your body, lifting the tailbone up. And exhale, round. Tucking the chin, drawing tailbone under. And please go slowly enough that you can really encourage those full breaths that you just worked on. And can you find the tone in the pelvis and the tone in the abdominals and the slight contraction in the throat to help keep you with that breath, inhaling and exhaling. So practicing cat-cow at your own pace and let that pace be dictated by the breath. Mm-hmm, 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 really nice, you guys. And imagine that the spine were watery as well. 
finding that fluid sense of movement in the spinal column. Take the knees a little bit wider and begin to circle the hips around, big, big circles, and allow the breath to be an organic response to this movement and vice versa. Let the neck be really soft and bring your hips all the way over to the left and all the way forward and to the right. Taking as big a circles as you can. Finding that movement in the hips, the spine, the neck. Switching directions. Taking your body on a little ride. Yeah, that's it, you guys, nice. Keep going. And you can experiment with lifting the arms as you like, maybe twisting with the upper body. Or coming onto the forearms. Playing with different levels if it feels good or sticking with hands and knees. When you feel even coming into child's pose, sending the hips all the way back, dropping the chest, dropping the head, push through your hands to get more stretch in the lower back. Let the weight of the hips fall toward the left and walk your upper body toward the right and lean away from the hand. And notice if you're cheating the breath here as we start to move. And it, that, some of that is normal. The breath will get less attention if we add movement. But in these moments of stillness, can you come back to fully emphasizing the exhale? So a spontaneous inhale can arise. Not out of habit, but out of need. Like truly waiting for hunger to, to come as opposed to just eating. And then bring the hands back to the center. And then walk them over to the left with the hips jog toward the right. The weight kind of falls over toward the right and you claw that right hand away from you, finding a deep stretch in the right side body, the lats, the serrated. Tone in the deep belly, so the coughing muscles. And then walk the hands back to the center, as opposed to last time when we push, lift the head, and this time claw your fingers and pull. I love this activation of the shoulder blades of the back, deepening the pit of the armpit, pull, toning the armpit, looking forward, opening the collarbones and chest, and then press away. Feel those juxtaposed actions. Inhale, pull. Those opposing actions start forward and exhale, press. Draw the belly in and roll slowly up to sit on your heels, five. Navel drawn in, four. Rounding the spine, belly button to the spine, three. And two. Sitting up tall, shoulders roll back for one. Circle the wrists out. And start to move your fingers around, opening up the joints of the fingers. Flutter the hands, maybe interlace them and circle them. Thinking of the joints as watery. Nimble, letting them move with ease rather than stiffness. Letting the elbows start to move as you bring the hands away. Maybe start to circle the fists, the interlaced fingers in a big circle here. And switch directions. Warming up the elbow joints, the shoulder joints, the back body. And then come to the center, open the arms out to the side 
and then bend the elbows and mm -hmm. squeeze the forearms in and push, push, push extra hard. Slide the elbows up and down as though there were a wall in front of you. Inhaling up, push, 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 and exhale down. Inhale up, start to let the tailbone go back as you look up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under as the elbows come in toward the belly button. Inhale, start to let the elbows go up. Look up, tailbone back, head up. Full exhale. Keep going, keep going. Push out all that breath. Elbows squeeze really hard. Inhale. And exhale. Stay in this cat, circle the hands, and then place them on the floor, come on to hands and knees. Inhale, arch the back. Tuck the toes onto the floor, press the chest back to the legs, lift the tailbone up. Push through your hands, claw the floor, and press your mat forward. Start to stretch out your legs. Walk the feet back if needed. Come forward toward the hands about halfway. Bend your elbows wide, bringing the chin down. Straighten the arms. Do a few of these rear push ups. Elbows wide and straighten. Elbows wide and straighten. Feel the shoulders on the back, shoulder blades on the back. Start to take the hips back. Knees are soft or legs are straight. Draw sits bones toward each other, tailbone forward. Push, knuckles in. Knuckles of the thumbs and four, index fingers down. And then walk your hands to the feet. Bend the knees. Clasp opposite hand around your elbows. Hang out here. Head is heavy, forearms are heavy. Pull down and softly move the head side to side. Forward and back. Watering the cervical spine. Those joints soft, nimble, belly strong and firm, pelvic floor strong, toned. Breathe. Unwinding tensions of being stuck inside, inhale. And exhale. Whatever the tension is, unwinding it and release your hands. Walk them forward again, coming forward into your down dog. Pressing through the left heel, lift the right leg up. Concentrate on the back of the leg as you bring your heel toward your glute. Lift your knee higher and feel the back of the leg strong, that hamstring, glute muscle, Little pulses here of the knee up toward the sky. Five, four, three, two, one. Now open the hip up. Square the hips, lift the knee a little higher. Suture the ribs in and draw the right knee in toward the chest. Shoulders forward, plant your right foot at your right hand. Lower your left knee. Fold the mat over, pad the knee, whatever you need to do to make it feel okay. Maybe you're good. Bring your hands to your thigh, right thigh. Plug your hands onto your leg, tuck your tailbone under, lifting front of pubic foot up. Organize here to find pelvic floor tone. Squeeze sits bones toward each other, firm the belly. Tuck the chin. Push away. Start to take your hips farther forward, Feeling a stretch here. And then reach the arms up or leave them there if you need to for balance. Place the hands down. Blocks are useful here or fingertips. On either side of your front foot and straighten your front leg, flex the foot. Shoot the hips back, heart forward. X, turn your right thigh out, turn it exteriorly and internally. So roll it out and in a few times. External, internal rotation.
coming forward into lizard lunge, externally rotate that front foot, let the hips go forward. Straighten the front leg of the hips, go back. Walk your hands over to your right. Squeeze left hip toward right hip, right hip toward left hip. Walk the hands back to the center. Bend your front knee. Sweep your right arm back behind you. Reach back toward your left foot. If you'd like, bend the back foot, bend the back knee. Reach for that back foot. Press the foot into the hand, if you happen to be holding it, and turn more to the right. Can you relax the shoulders down? Turn. As though you were swimming, let that back foot go. Big crawl stroke with that right hand all the way to the floor. Tuck your back toes under, strengthen your back leg, push down to your right hand, Nice, strong plank. Draw the lats down, armpits are deep. Feel the back muscles strongly. You can always drop your knees for more support. Squeeze sits bones toward each other, tailbone forward, tube from back, thighs on strong. Slide the hips back, downward facing dog. Right heel down, left leg shoots up. Push to the hands, you could always be on your forearm, or have the right knee down. Bring left heel toward the butt. Feel that posterior chain muscle in the back leg and butt. Lift that left knee up. Little pulses of that knee. Five, four. Feeling that back leg strong. Three, belly in. Two, one. Now open up that hip. Squeeze right hip in toward the left. Left side open. Bring it back to the center, lift the knee up, knee to chest, round, counter pose. Step the left foot forward, lower back knee down. Bring your hands when you're ready up to the top of your thigh. Push down, tuck the chin. Tailbone under, belly muscle strong, sits bone squeezing in. Push down, strong arms. Slide your hips farther forward. Deep stretch in that right quadricep maybe, right hip flexors. When the balance is there, arms up. Back ribs go up. Reach. Place the hands on blocks. Shoot the hips back, front leg straight. Flex your front foot. Turn it out, turn the leg in, turn it out and in. Breaking up any cobwebs in those hips. Anything sticky and stuck. Using the leg to clean it up. Lots of cleaning these days. Mm -hmm. And then bend your front knee, come into a lunge. And straighten. Externally rotate, come into a lizard lunge. Left toes turn out, hips go low. Let those hips go forward. Forward, forward. You don't have to add much here, just sink into it a bit. And you feel those groin muscles. Now, if they hurt, add traction. Drag heels toward you, back knee forward to protect yourself. Straighten the front leg, externally rotate. Twist to your left. Squeeze the right hip in toward the midline as you turn. Your foot could go back. Your right foot could go back. Walk it back to the center. Move the props out of your way. Lift your back knee, get strong. Step into plank. Push down with your hands, claw the floor. Resist gravity, drawing sits bones in, thighs strong. Lats on, start to lengthen out the chest. And bend your elbows, hover here. Resist if you can, don't lie down. Stay strong, three, two, you got this. 
One, lie down on your belly. Lift your toes over and rest your head. Take your hands behind you. Find a strap or something if you need one. Take your time. Clasp your favorite way if you're clasping. Draw your shoulders forward, back and down. Start to lift the chest. Start to lift the feet if that feels okay. Reach through your big toes, lifting up. Charge that back body. Feel the thighs strong, glutes strong as you lift. Yeah. Now put the feet down. Take the hands by the sides of the chest. Keep using your back muscles to string you upward, to pull upward. Shoulders down, elbows in, curl. Chin up, and then roll down. Push back to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes or take child's pose, downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog as you need to. Here, breathing. And then walk your feet forward up to where your hands are. Bend your knees, shoot your sits bones back, pull your heart forward. Use your belly to lift your chest. Exhale, start to straighten the legs and fold. Rounding forward, pushing your hands down. Squeeze sits bones toward each other. Head down, shoulder blades toward one another and away from your head. Let's try that again. Straight legs, inhale, use your belly to lift your chest. See if you can come off the ground with your hands just for a moment and hold yourself with your belly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, those coughing muscles, they lift you up. Tailbone comes under, arms reach high, high, high. Now lift your your thumbs. Bend your elbows, let the tailbone go back just a tiny bit. Open the chest. Hallelujah here. Let the sun just pour down onto you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands behind you, up at your sacrum. Take your feet a little bit wider. Again, if you want to, you can use a strap for this. Clasp your hands the way you don't like if you're clasping, or like a little less. Roll the shoulders back. Let the tailbone go back a little bit. Pull on your strap or, and hands are up by the sacrum. Squeeze your elbows, squeeze your elbows. Lift through the chest. Now start to straighten the arms. Tailbone comes under, head goes farther back. Start to straighten the arms a little bit more. Squeeze, chest goes up, head goes farther back. Inhale to rise. Keep your clasp, fold over the legs. Bend the left knee open, twisting to the right. Bend the elbows for leverage, turn more. Right leg is straight. Inhale to the center. Nice release here for the back body, shoulders, belly, strong and in. Bend the right knee, bend the elbows, twist to the left. Pull the elbows apart. Yeah. Inhale to the center. Going deep. Going in here. Head going down. Arms coming over. If you're working with a strap, pull it apart. Soft thumb to the elbows. And release. Inhale, look up. Use your belly. Exhale, step left foot, right foot back plank. Lower your knees to the floor. Lower your chest and chin to the floor. Roll down onto your tummy. Shoulders back, head up. Push down through your feet. Push back to child's pose. And then downward facing dog. Pedal the feet up. Keep pedaling as you walk yourself forward to your hands. Everything strong. Inhale, heart forward, belly in. Exhale, fold the spine like water. Push down. Inhale, rise up. 
Arms overhead, lift. Exhale, hands clasp behind you or reach for your strap. Hands up on the sacrum, clip elbows in, tailbone back, heart up. Lengthen tailbone forward, start to straighten the arms, big back bend here. Inhale, lift through the chest, bend the knees, fold. Push down into your right foot, draw your left knee to your chest. And you keep the clasp of your hands and start to extend that left leg back. Nice bend in the right knee. Pause and hold. Step your left foot back, tuck the toes under, bend the right knee. Open the chest, reach the knuckles of the left hand, sorry, both hands, down toward the back knee. Straighten the back thigh, hands push onto the hamstring, hamstring into hand, chest opens. Release the clasp, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, open, air twist, T. Bring your left hand down, right arm high, turn open. Big circle, right arm overhead. Swim it forward, step back, plank. Lower down halfway this time, or to the floor, you know what to do. Inhale, roll over the toes, strain the arms. Strong back body. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, up to your hands. Use your joints, soft like water. Inhale, stretching forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, rise up. Push down into the ground as the arms circle out and up, reaching tall. Clasp your hands behind you, alternating lacing hands to the sacrum, tailbone back, chest open. Lift the chest, clip the elbows, start to stretch the arms down the legs, deeper back bend. Exhale, strength as you come up and over. Bend the knees. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Look forward. Can you stiletto your right heel? Maybe you stay there and just hop that foot back. Or maybe you balance. Start to extend that right leg back. Bent left knee. Hold up here. Arms lift away from body. Use your triceps. Use your belly. Step the right toes back when you're ready. Hands go down that back leg. Chest open, find your balance. Start to straighten that back leg against the hands and vice versa. Chest is open. Inhale, release the clasp. Arms circle up. Exhale, open twist. Open T twist to the left. Push your hands as though into a wall. Reach your arms in opposite directions. Right hand to the ground. Twist. Squeeze your sits bones. Big swim, left arm over the ear and down. Step that plank. Lower, chaturanga. Inhale, posterior chin, use your glutes. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Find your breath, inhale. Breathe in more. Exhale. Keep exhaling. Inhale. Exhale all the way to the bottom of the breath. You're still with me, it's got tricky fast. <laughs> inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Travel up to where your hands are. Nice, you guys. Inhale, flat back, heart forward, good. Exhale, full drop in, beautiful. Inhale, circle, rise up. Cactus the arms, open the heart, find that easier back bend. Gorgeous, let the sun pour onto your body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Simple here, inhale, flat back, use your abs. Exhale, step your right foot back, then your left plank. Low push up or knees, chest, chin, or to the belly. Point the toes, roll the heart up. Exhale back, yes, down dog. 
Find your even, steady breath. Gently, gently hugging the muscles, toning the muscles of the throat, finding those deeper abdominals, holding your spine strong, supporting that the watery joints of the body. Sits bones drawing in, thigh bones pressing back. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, travel lightly to your hands. Inhale, flat back, collarbones open. Exhale, fold, purge, let go. Exhale, exhale, keep going. Inhale, circle, rise up. Bend the elbows, lift the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward, tone. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump to chaturanga or step left foot, bend right foot back. Inhale, glide through, open your chest. Beautiful. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Finding your deeper focus this morning. Transitioning into a place of meditation as the brain grows more still. Eyes are steady. The thoughts may keep coming, but your focus increases away from them to the breath, to the body. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, travel to the hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold and let go. Use your abdominals there, guys. Go in deeper. Inhale, circle, rise. Keep that support in the pelvic floor. Lift up, belly in, reach back, body up. Bend the elbows, find your back bend if it feels safe. Hallelujah, so you can lift the chest, feel the back opening it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a long back, use your abs. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, gliding through, easy on those joints. Exhale, back, gorgeous. Child's pose or down dog, see what feels best for you. Easy, steady breath. Can you take that pause, purging completely, emptying the rubbish, allowing for that spontaneous rising of the inhale? Lift the hips away from the waist. Good, good. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees, exhale, travel forward to your hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms out and up. Exhale to a back bend, chest opens. Beautiful, inhale, reach back up. Arms down by the side, Tadasana. Samastitihi, equal standing, pressing the feet into the floor, feeling sits bones drawing in, feeling tone in the belly, opening across the front chest, melting of tension in the shoulders and the shoulder blades, melting of tension in the jaw and tongue, eyes moving toward the back of their sockets, personality drawing in toward the back of you. Keep drawing it in. And as you stand in the stillness of your strength, open, offer to something. Offer your practice up to something bigger this morning, bigger. Keep opening. And then bend the knees, reach the arms up, coming into chair pose. Connecting deeply as you find that power and strength. Sweep the hands behind you, find that clasp or have the strap available. Tailbone back, heart opens and lifts. Head up, chin, sorry, head back, chin up. And then lay your chest down onto your legs. Start to straighten the legs and deepen this forward fold. Keep the clasp of the hands, bend the knees again. Stiletto your left heel. 
either jog that left leg like back or come into that warrior three the arms back. Flex your left foot, bend your right knee, tuck the left toes under, keep the hands interlaced, inhale, lift the chest up. Press your left thigh into your knuckles, bring the knuckles closer to your back knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Stay here or exalted warrior. Wrap your right hand to your left thigh. Press the left thigh into that hand. Left arm by the ear. Keep twisting toward the right. Swim your right arm forward. Bring both hands down. Turn your right foot to the right. Coming on, turning both feet to the right, coming onto the outer edges of the both feet. Hands walk over to the right. Scissor the legs toward each other. Maybe that right arm lifts here. If you've lifted the right arm, bring the hand back down and do it again. Tone the throat, tone the center line as you twist open to the right and bring the hand back down. One more time. Inhale, twist. Exhale, down. Turning to the front of the mat, lizard lunge. Turn your right toes out, hands come down on the inside, let that knee open, hips fall low, chest goes up. Look up, maybe back knee comes down. Maybe staying here or maybe deepening this, bending the left knee, twisting right hand to left ankle. Let me skip this on the other side, sorry. Do? Sort of. And then swim that right arm forward. Turn your right toes. Lift your back knee, straighten both legs, pyramid pose, Parjvottanasana here, folding over your front shin. I just have to let Lola out. Be right back. Come here. Come here, Bridget. Oh, false alarm. False alarm, ladies. Mm -hmm. From here, bend your front knee, step your back foot forward. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, come into chair, reach the arms overhead. Let your butt go back. Interlace the hands off, or lacing or grab your strap. Tailbone back, heart up, head back. Exhale, lay your torso down, straighten the legs, wrap forward. Bend the knees, look forward, squeeze shoulder blades, tone arms, stiletto your right foot, and start to extend that right leg back. Hold it if you can. Ooh. Tuck your back toes under, bend the back knee, rise. Hands shoot down that right leg, press the leg straight into the knuckles, open the chest. Inhale, release the hands, reach them up. Exhale, twist to your left. Reach your arms apart, stay here, or left hand to the back leg, Right arm up by the ear, exalted warrior. Keep twisting, hug your sits bones in. Right hand comes down, left arm big swims over the ear. Straighten your front leg, and then bend. Turn to your left, come on to the outer edges of both feet. Hands between them, scissor your legs, pull the pinkies toward each other. Stay here, or maybe left arm lifts up, twisting open, back body strong. Left hand down, it went up. And again, left arm lifts, repeat it. Twice more, left hand comes down. Left arm goes up, find those obliques to turn you more. Left hand down, rest sits bones in, tailbone forward, tighten it. Twist, careful of your parts. Come back to the center. Leave your left toes turned out. Wriggle your right leg back. Come into a lizard lunge here. Letting the hip strap low, knee opens, chest up, chin up. A lizard looking up toward the sky. And keep them up. Staying here or bending the back knee, reaching with that left arm. Press the foot into the hand, open more. Swim it forward. 
Turn your left foot forward, straighten both legs. Step in just a tiny bit, hold over that front one. Parajrotanasana. Belly in, rotate the trunk over the thigh. Pivot, please, to your right. Inhale, lift your chest, feet are parallel. Exhale, head drops somewhere down. If you're feeling it this morning and you're like, that's it, I need a headstand, please do. Otherwise, just stay. Strengthen your legs, tone them, lifting the knees away. Widen the sits bones away from the center. Lots of strength here. Belly in to the spine can release. If your feet have left the ground, bring them back to the earth and take little side to side movements. Starting to come into side lunges, one side and then the other. Pivoting back when you're even to the front of the mat. Put weight into your left foot, step your back foot up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Bend your knees. Inhale, reach the arms up, chair. Exhale, interlace the hands. So we'll flow through that. Inhale, lift the chest with changes. Exhale, and fold. Bend the knees, inhale, look up. Shoot the fingers, the knuckles toward the back wall. Pick up that left leg, extend it back. Tuck the toes under, bent knee. Inhale, lift. Straighten the back leg. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Back hand optional to the left leg, exalted warrior. Windmill the arms down. Turn to your right, turn both feet, right arm optional up, or leave the hand down, pulling here. Little change here, turn back to the center, come into a lunge, right arm goes high. Right hand comes back down, straighten both legs, step your back foot in. Inhale, to, just a little bit, just a little ways in, sorry. Inhale to a flat back. Hands to the hips, you're about three and a half, four feet apart with the legs. Inhale up. I'm probably cheating the distance there. Inhale, left arm high. Look up. Tailbone goes back, just the littlest bit. Reach back. Now, start to bring tailbone forward. Left hand goes forward. Left hand to the outside of the right foot. A block is helpful here. Turn. Right arm up, twisting triangle. Right hand comes down, and right arm goes up. Twice more, right hand comes down, and right arm goes up. Find those obliques. One more time, inhale. What if you didn't have that bottom hand down, and you did the twisting? Super hard for me, right through the core. Oh, yikesies. And turn to your left, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the left knee, Svandasana. And that left knee, look toward that right foot. Side lunge. Bend the front knee, bring the body forward, step up. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees into chair, arms come up. Interlace hands if you're lacing, opposite one. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Shake it up. Shake out the head. Bend the knees, push down into your left foot, lift the chest, stiletto your right foot. Right leg goes back, work at your own level. Tuck your toes, bend right knee. Inhale, lift the chest. Slide the hands down the back of the right leg as you straighten it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. 
Exalted warrior, if you'd like. Left hand to right leg, right arm by ear. Bring the windmill the arms down. Drop the head, straighten the front leg. Bend the front knee, right hand down, left arm up, twist. Sits bones in, tailbone forward, pubic bone back. Cough muscles strong and engaged, transverse abdominals. Left hand down, Parjvottanasana, straighten front leg. Back foot turns in, don't step it forward very much. Inhale to a flat back. Push down through your right foot, hands to your hips, push down. Inhale, come up. So you're in this pyramid, two straight legs forward, right arm up. This is a bit of a back bend. Tailbone goes back a little bit, right arm goes way back. Then reach forward like, yes, I got your hand. Reach, I got you. And then circle the right hand down, left arm up. You can put a block there. Squeeze your sits bones. Wake up that inner tent, those inner tensile muscles. Bring the left hand down, rotate toward the leg, and twist. Do it again. Rotate in, and open. Twist. Let's try it without the hands. Can you turn just using those strong core muscles? No, is the answer for me? Not so much. And down. Turn to your right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the back leg. Side lunge, those groins opening, flex that left foot. Push down through that right foot. Push down, push down, activating pelvic floor on that side. So that left groin can open. Drawing sits bones in, sits bones together help, or just pressing them away help. Then, Move your body forward toward that left foot, plant the palms, step back to plank. Just hold here for eight. Resist gravity, lengthen the spine. Seven, six, five, four, three. Feel the strength, two. Claw the floor, one. Bend the elbow, start to bring it down. Halfway hold, four. Getting super strong, three, and two. And lie down onto your tummy. Make a little pillow with your hands. Bend your knees and massage your back. Feet side to side. Rub the forehead across the knuckles. Turning the head as well as the feet going side to side. And then open the right arm out to the side. Come on to your left fingertips. Let's keep this one soft and watery today. Roll toward your right shoulder. Bend your left knee, step behind you, or maybe you stay legs long or bend both knees. If your low back hurts, tuck your tailbone under. Place your left hand on your thigh and push up into your hand and the hand presses down into the leg. This will help stabilize your outer hips and hold your back better. From that position, you bring your tailbone forward. When we turn on, I'll turn toward you. When we turn on those deeper back muscles, the superficial ones that might be in pain, relax. Thank God. And then roll onto your belly. Pause here, turn the head to the left cheek to the floor, head to the right. Let that right shoulder move forward and back. We worked it a lot today. And then stretch the left arm open. Turn to your left. Just checking the time. Whoops. Turn to your left. Tailbone comes under or step your right foot back. If your back hurts, stack the knees, fold the feet back, place the right hand on top. Push the hand into the leg and the leg up into the hand. So that the tension goes into the outer right hip. Tailbone is under. This helps the deeper back muscles turn on. And the ones that are protecting the spine perhaps puts it chill. 
Maybe you're just in the twist, having a really good time. And come back to the center, onto your belly. Other hand sets on top. Arrange it so that your knuckles of your top hand line up with your center of your forehead and then just rub your forehead across them. Feet side to side. And you're just burrowing your forehead into the knuckles. And then relax your legs down, let your head get heavy. Deep breath into your back. Fully exhale. And what's cool here is the floor feedback. You can really keep emptying that exhale, exhale, exhale. You feel your stomach, the excavation of your stomach, the tone. Yeah, as you push your pubic bone and chest into the ground. And then again, inhale. And fully exhale. Tail belong toward the heels, fully excavating, keep going, keep going. Hold that exhale out until the inhale spontaneously arises. And then relax. Hands by the side of the chest, child's pose, push back to your heels. Drawing your belly in, we'll roll up again, four, and three, and two, and one. Make your way onto your back. If you have a strap, like a yoga strap, grab it now. Um, and if you have a block, grab that as well. The reason I emphasize a yoga strap is we'll use it the way you kind of, um, a, like a belt, well, Bill could work. You just need something that the, the, this thing, this buckle, will actually hold the strap so that it keeps you safe. If you have one, you're going to slide your legs through it. If you don't have one, you're fine too. We're going to lie down on the back. Feet are slightly wider than your hips. We're going to do some bridges here. This is good if you have back pain. So the Strap holding the outer thighs helps to um, organize the muscles in a way that activate the deep supported back muscles better. So the legs press out into the strong the strap, which isn't going to move because you've locked it in place. Tailbone goes toward the heels. Just breathe here for a moment. Let your body adjust to this new position. Knit the ribs in toward the center. And then open the chest. So when we knit the ribs in, for me, the shoulders kind of collapse. Can you open those back out? Drawing shoulder blades onto the back and coaxing the head back, pushing thighs into strap or just thighs out. Lengthening tailbone, raise the hips up. If you do have the strap, start to break that strap. Break that strap with all your might. Press the thighs out. Fold your shoulders under and then pull the mat apart as well. So thighs out. Mat apart, push down through the shoulders, flatten the belly, and can your hips go up higher? Drag your heels towards you now at that back body. Hamstrings, glutes tighten. Is it both legs? For me, no, it's just my right leg. Come on, left leg. Come on. There it goes. Open the chest. And then relax the upper back and slowly, gradually, one vertebra at a time, descend. If the knees collapse in, feet go out. Leave the strap on if you have it and just gently drop right knee in, left knee out and vice versa. If you don't, go to the full range of this internal, external rotation, knees coming, windshield wipering. And then let everything relax. Full round of breath, inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing out, keep breathing out. You'll feel the belly so strong as you keep emptying all the stuff out. Then a proper inhale. You may feel elated from just the breath alone. To learn more about this breath, a book I'll, I'll 
send you guys the, the notes, but it's um, the heart of yoga, Daskachar. It's He was um, Krish, Krishna Macharya's son. It's a really, really beautiful book. If you still have the strap, keep it there. Draw tailbone toward the feet. And again, let's lift the hips up. Draw, draw the shoulder blades toward each other. Pull the mat apart. And let's pulse the hips up. Five, four, kicking out against the strap with your thighs if you have one. Three, two, go to your highest point and then drag the heels toward you. Open the chest away from you. Belly is strong, but you're feeling a nice stretch along the front of the body. Liberating the diaphragm, open up the chest. Breathe. Pull them out apart with your hands. And then relax the upper shoulders. Navigate your way all the way down. Windshield wipe the legs. If you're moving on to wheel, the strap is really, really, really helpful and nice. You can take the hands back by the ears. If you're coming up to wheel or you want to try it, start to press your elbows toward the back of the room behind you so that you're flattening your palms. Now, one way to make it easier is to take the hands a little wider and turn your fingers actually toward your head. Um, then raise the hips up, kick out against the strap, and lift to the top of your head. Stop there. Now, this is good to send your elbows toward the back of the room, and then maybe you just lift right up. Or maybe you stay on the head, or maybe you step with bridge. They're all really good. Think of your spine made of water. And where do you need to support it for this lift? And then slowly make your way all the way down. If you do the strap, slide it off now. Put it to the side. And then widen your feet out to the edges of your mat. And really windshield wipe the legs now. Fully engrossed in this movement, knees from side to side. All the way over to the right. Pedal, use your feet. All the way over to the left. Place your left ankle over the top of the right knee. If that hurts, do not do that. Reach your arms back. Hold your left wrist. No, I'm sorry. Hold your right wrist with your left hand and pull that right side, let that right knee go down, right arm back. And then roll your insides toward the right. It's super subtle. Turn your head to the right. Engage your core, take the foot off the leg. Keep looking to the right and draw the knees up. Relax the grip on the wrist, reach both arms back. Walk both feet apart if they're not, let the knees fall over to the right. Place the right heel on the upper left knee. If that hurts, don't. Remember in the very beginning, I want you to do that again, of this feeling of pushing the thighs out of the sockets and toward the knees. Right hand grabs the left wrist, maybe up by the forearm, and like you're pulling off a tight, tight evening glove. Pull toward the wrist. My daughter's been wearing these compression socks. She just loves them. I don't know why, but it's like taking off those super tight socks, except it's your forearm. And reach toward the wrist. Pull toward the wrist. Pull that left side. Turn your head to the left. Super subtle. It's more just in your mind. Roll your insides toward the left. Keep your hands like that. Take the foot off the knee. Use your deep core muscles to draw the knees together. Release the clasp of the wrist. Flex your hands like pressing the back wall away. Push that back wall away. Knees squeeze in toward each other. Restoring anything weird about the back. If there is anything weird going on. And then bring your arms down by your side. 
If you have a block, grab it or a book or something to elevate your hips just a little bit. And lift your legs. Walk your shoulders in. And let's just hang here, purifying the body in this inversion. Point your feet. Open the chest. Quiet the mind, shoulders heavy. Observe the rise and fall of the breath. The early morning, if you're in LA, song of the birds. If you're somewhere else in the world, maybe the traffic. Tuning into that ambient sound. Temperature on your skin. Letting the eyes fall deeply into their sockets. And then choose any flower and imagine it. Maybe it's a sunflower, an iris, whatever it is. Where do you see it in your mind's eye? Where does it appear? Bring your eyes to that space, your inner focus to that inner screen inside you, wherever it may be. Notice what plays upon that screen. Almost like lucid dreaming. Keep your inner gaze there, bend your knees, let your feet come down to the ground. Lift your hips off the support, hold, let the muscles reinvigorate, and then coming down gracefully one vertebra at a time. I still open, uh, sorry, closed and focused on that inner screen. Soles of the feet come together, knees open apart into that butterfly. Hand on the heart and one on the belly. Keep your inner focus, your inner gaze. Notice the rise and fall of the breath into your hand and away from your hand. The whole body becoming like water now. You feel the rise and fall like little waves in the ocean. It's as though we ourselves are the way returning to the ocean. And on the surface, we feel the rise and fall of the breath. And start to become aware down below of the deeper stillness. Begin to straighten the legs out, rock a little bit. Sliding shoulder blades under softly and then roll your limbs out and in, out and in, gentle waves. Eventually letting them grow heavy. Allow the breath 
breath to naturally rise all the way into an inhale. And a full exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath in. Hold. Exhale all the way out. And then let natural breath take over. Body growing heavy. Unbound, untethered. We flow into consciousness, into this open awareness, connecting to all things. Take a deep breath. Move the fingers and toes and exhale. Watery joints, inhale. Feeling that elixir and exhale. Inhale. Sweep the right arm over your head. Draw your left knee in and roll to your right. Come into a little round fetal position. Emphasize the breath into the back. Breathing wide into the ribs and across the back body. And exhaling. Feeling that knitting of the front body. Breathing in those potent frequencies today. What do you want to breathe in? What do you want to take in today? What would help you? There's a lot of scary stuff. Can we breathe in hope? Can we breathe in focus? Can we breathe in patience? Pushing down through that left hand, rise up. Then unmute us so that we can hear each other, connect to one another. Sweep your arms up. Look up, inhale here, exhale, open. Fluff your hands around your space like you're fluffing the energy around you. Fluff it, fluff it. <laughs> Pushing out what you don't want. And then draw your hands. Push, push, push your hands in. Push hard here, bringing your hands to the center of the chest. Feel how your elbows are moving out toward the side of the room. 
and the shoulder blades are drawing in between the chest even more. We're gonna inhale fully. We'll take a complete exhale and then breathe in for OM. Inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale. Bring the, the prayer that lives in your heart up to your mind. Heart, mind come together. This is so important to bring the mind and heart to the same conversation. You want them working together so much. <laughs> I'm not going to get political, but just trust me. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bow forward, honoring the light within. Let it guide you. Namaste. Thank you all. Love you all. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Please send me feedback. I can't feel you quite as much as I can in real life. And I would love to hear how this is working, the level, if you have questions. Um, I'm available. So let me know. Thank you, Sarah. Welcome, you guys. You. Have a good morning. Have a good morning. Rebecca, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, hi. Anyone want to stay on? I'm going to do a little bit of a, a immune system sure. tuning. Hi, Mom. Yeah. I will call you later. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. Bye. Bye. Oh, want to stay fun. on? It's nice. Good family. I don't know. Okay. okay. We're going to do lymph. Uh, so we're going to clean the lymph. And let's see. Nope, just lymph. So sweep your spleen. The thumb goes at the sterna, at the xiphoid process. And then you right hand and then sweep to your left. I've come to think that, that this is like emptying the trash on the computer. Like when you put your files in the trash, and then we're just emptying any trash. <laughs> like you got to empty the trash. And it's what we were working on with our breath today. So it makes sense getting that exhale all the way out. Oof, I'm already like feeling this. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep sweeping. Um, I guess you've been collecting a lot of trash. And then tap your head and heart and belly. And keep tapping only on the chest. And then relax and just take a few breaths. You are looking at the thymus, cytokines, uh, excess of cytokines. So we're going to balance the cytokines with lymph, interestingly, um, and chi in the lungs, so energy in the lungs. So we're doing a balance of uh, reducing warrior cytokines in the lungs uh, with an emphasis on chi, on um, gu chi, and lymph, uh, this way, lymph, just lymph. Um, okay, so tap head, heart, and belly. I'm gonna use an acupoint of kidney two. It's uh, on the left side, we're gonna use the left side. Um, it, I'm going to show you on my foot. So it's right 
Here's the big toe knuckle. And then slide down like a finger and a half. And right in there, there's a crevice. Try to find that crevice and put your right fing index finger in it and rub it hard. It should be somewhat painful. So we're going to push in there. And rub. Is it on the outside or the inside? Inside, toe side. You slide down about a finger and a half. Is it below the big joint, the big toe, or is it in the middle Can of you it? See? Above, above it. Oh, let me show you your foot. foot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I think it's like right there. I can't see you, but if you can see me. Okay. Well, I can't see this. It's kind of glary. Let's see. Oh, you're, you're like in the middle of the foot almost. Okay. You're almost, yeah. Okay, I see you. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. Maybe, I don't know. Right there? Um, right there. That's where it hurts. I'll put where it hurts. Is it? No. We're going to do a back balance. You're going to bring one hand to the occiput and one hand to the sacrum and just hold those two spots and let your head go back toward the finger holding the head up. Kind of push the head like a hook. Push, you push the finger up into the head and the head resists. Hold the low back uh, right above the sacrum. And take a few breaths here. And we're gonna move that back hand up so it's behind the it's on the vertebra behind the belly button and rub there. That feels really good. And I'm tapping that in. Ooh, okay. And that's charging your mission. Like that's uh, the doorway of the soul coming in and just uh, helping you stay on task, helping you stay connected to to why you're here to what your purpose is and that's it for today for now thanks sarah yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit love you all bye